Hey guys, I'm Elegant and Chew. Welcome back to my Pokemon Black Terminal Challenge. And last episode, I failed at this um, area, which was Area 4. And so, yeah, it's because the time limit wasn't long enough. But hopefully, I won't fail anymore. But I'm really, really, really fed up with Camtasia because I'm post narrating now. Because first time I recorded it, Camtasia used the wrong microphone. So it's so annoying. But anyway, we're um, helping out this little girl finding her Pokemon, get it back from Cheap Plasma. She says, thank you, mister, please take this thank you as a present. Um, so she gives us Heal Balls, which I think was first available in that like, fourth generation or something like that. Um, but they're not the best of balls, they're, all, they're only good when you're at the start of the game and you don't have a full team and you want to catch a Pokemon, so... Not the best, and uh, I don't even know what I'm doing right now. I'm just fed up with Camtasia. Camtasia, you can just go screw yourself, because... I've not had the most productive of days, and oh, okay, I'm looking for a, um... My next team member, which I think I do end up cutting out and cutting too. So, what my next team member is going to be is a P Dove, because you guys voted or commented for a P Dove. Not necessarily voted, but just wanted me to get a P Dove, so yeah. I'm actually going to be looking for a male one rather than a female one, because I think this is a P Dove here, but I want to look for a male one because I just couldn't think of a name for a female one. I have, I have a name for a male one that just came into my head, but I just could not, could not think of a name for a female one, so, um,. Yeah, and the reason being that they're different is because uh, the male one has sort of a mask thing over its eyes, and as you can see, my horrible look here that I keep bringing into female pedos, and I think the chances are 50-50 from male to female. Uh, I just had bad luck, and I spent quite some time looking for a, a pe male pedo, and finally get there in the end, so don't worry about that. Um, and uh, I don't know if I should give you the nickname yet, but... Um, yeah, I think we're going to get to it at some point soon, I'm not quite sure, because I know I even have to skip it out and I still take quite some time looking for it. Uh, I think it's after this battle when I skip ahead. Not too sure though. I don't I do not do too many, I know that. I don't, I don't spend the whole episode, that's why I did purposely put it out to, um, to, uh, to, um, get ahead. I don't, uh, to, uh, to, to make the thing shorter and quicker. Sorry, I'm not talking properly, I'm kind of just fed up with Contagion, like I said. I'm really happy, but yeah, as I said, I had the most productive days of today. I probably had more anti-productive than productive day. Um, and, uh, just because, um, well, first of all, I ended up... Oh, here, here we go. Here goes the P-Dub. I will explain why my day was pretty afterwards. But yeah, this um, is my P-Dub. I'm a male P-Dub, and uh, I, I try using a Pokeball straight off, and... That doesn't work. I'm just going to say it out now. Uh, but um, we get to one, two, three, and obviously it comes out of four because that's just my luck, isn't it? <laughs> but we, um, I was kind of scared to use my uh, pursuit because I thought it would take it out. The reason I was using pursuit because I was deciding I was going to stick to the rules, but, um, but, oh gosh, I keep losing what I'm trying to say because I'm like half asleep now, but, um, that I stick to the rules. Yeah, I want to start, even though I fail, I want to stick to the rules uh, of just using my pro line and just using, um, and just using whatchamacallit. And, by the way, you got it, yay, uh, but I'm using only my pursuit. And, yeah. But I end up not sticking to that and, um, just using any old pop anyway, because I've already failed. It doesn't matter if I fail again. So much I didn't hold my P buff. Masquerade, because a masquerade is essentially one of those party masks that just covers your eyes and well, it has holes for eyes, but goes around your eyes and just the top of your nose, I think. It doesn't go on any of your face, if you know what I mean. Um, so I look up masquerade on the internet, because um, I don't know, because the unpheasant male actually has a mask that looks like a masquerade, which is why I decided to name it that. It's somewhat of an okay name. I quite like it, though. Um, but, yeah, the, na the name of Masquerade actually sounds pretty cool, too. That's why I always use male rather than female, because the female one doesn't have anything on its face. And... Yeah, I did realise it was like the same as... It sounds the same as Masquerade, and that must be where mas the name Masquerade for the Pokemon must come from. But when I looked at Masquerade, it doesn't really look like it has a mask. I don't know, it's kind of kind of odd, but... um, Yeah, and I assure you, my commentary originally for this episode is much better than it is now, but... Of course I can't keep that, because it's using your own microphone, and it's horrible, it was horrible. Like, it's inside my computer, like, right next to where my fan is. Oh, you can hear the fan go, Ugh. 
so loud because um, when I'm playing an emulator, my computer just goes crazy with the fan and stuff, and it was just not possible to have a decent quality. Because especially like does move me, it just makes my fan just go absolutely crazy because it just um, overheats my computer so much. But um, yeah, we're just battling some trainers down on this route, and um, I am actually currently only at like 17 minutes on this episode, so um, I will be recording the last three minutes live audio. So be looking forward to that, <laughs> me being live, because. Um, I was just while because I actually go off screen to grind a little bit, and while I was off screen grinding, I realised that my when I hit my microphone, my computer didn't pick it up so much. I was like, oh no, don't tell me you switch microphones again because like the only times I don't check is when um when my Camtasia decides to switch to the other microphone that I don't want to use. So Camtasia kind of hates me, and today is really not my day. So, um, yeah. And, uh, there's just more pedos, which is so annoying. Do I, do I actually attack this? Yeah, we're just running away here, because I can't bother with pedos. Why would I bother with pedos? But anyway, Sharon's here, and I was panicking before, thinking, oh my gosh, a battle. No, I don't want to battle. Um, because I've already had a battle with you. But the dark grass over there, yeah. So basically, the dark grass, like the dark grass that you can see on the right, maybe you can run into two Pokemons, but essentially, you can have a wild double battle on me. I'm having a look here, see if there's anything in the grass that I can go in for. And there's not really, it looks like there's any items or anything, so there's no point going in. So I'm just going to carry on down and battle some other trainers. And then, um, yes, yeah, she sent out Rubat, which I got excited about because I have Pursuit. And I was, since at this point I was still sticking to the walls of this area, I was getting excited because the only move I could use was a dark type move. So it worked out in a good way for me. I was like, come on, come on, get a one eight co, come on, because it's super effective and stuff. I was just like, oh, yeah, just, just don't, don't one hit co, obviously. Like, because I was fed up with that last episode because I couldn't one hit co moon. But anyway, anyway, it doesn't matter. And we about to the first generation version of Swoobat, it's. I don't know, I, I think I like it better than Zo Zubat. Not not Wubat, I just like Swubat better than Zubat. Because that's this, that's Wubat's evolution. Oh my gosh, it's just so confusing games, but um, I don't know, I think you tried to copy off the first generation a little bit too much in this game. Um, but it, it is a bit. I think they were just trying to start over and go back to the roots, try and um, make people enjoy it. But I think quite a few of the Pokemon aren't the best, really. I mean, there's, there's quite a few Pokemon you can say are similar to the original Pokemon. So the Patrats, sort of like the Rattatas, and the, you've got the Pedos, which are Pidges. I mean, they generally have this sort of start, um, start combination in each of the games. But, um, but they've got it more in this game, like the Kling Clang and the other one, whatever they're called. I don't know, I don't know what they're called, the Gears. I uh, basically like the Magnemites, I think. So, I don't know, I don't know, I, I think they just tried a little bit too much to try and get the same as the first generation and previous generations, I don't know. But anyway, um, I'm just using assist and trying to take this out. I can't remember what I was talking about in my actual commentary, and I usually run dry when I, I'm post-commentating, because I hate post-commentating! I, I hate it! It's stupid! And you might find a lot of people don't like it, but there's actually quite a lot of YouTubers that do post-commentate and you don't even realise it, so... Because when you say something like, I did that in, in the game, you're like, what? You post commentator? I didn't even realise. Um, but, yeah, I, I feel I don't like post commentating at all. And I hate Camtasia, and I would burn it if I could, but I kind of need it to record. And I kind of need my laptop, and there's no way to burn Camtasia without my laptop, unless I get the case and burn that, but that's the Camtasia box, not... Okay, I'll, I'll show with my gibberish now because I'm jab jibbering jabbering on. So let's continue if this or let's go backwards. Okay, let's go. Let's. Okay, yeah, we're going to get an item because I was going to check down here if there was an item because I'm so OCD with items. Even though in the um, was it the Wellspring Cave, which I actually did name wrong in last episode, so I'm sorry about that. In the Wellspring Cave. I um, left an item, but I would have to go right around for that. I don't think I could, could get the item without Surf, though, so it was just like, no, I really want to get it because I can see it. But as you can see here, I'm obviously running into all the male pedos once I've caught one. I spent ages looking for one before, and now I'm just running into them all when I've got them. 
I found a great ball, which is pretty useful because I don't have one yet, but uh, someone did ask me to catch all my team members in Pokeballs, and since it's not part of the rules, it's not like a definite thing, but I will do my best to remember to try and catch all my team members in Pokeballs, so remind me if I forget, because I'll try my best not to. So this is another guy here, and just thinking of a new battle strategy and things like that. So he's just going to send out his p -Bev. And yeah, we're going to send out our Sneaky. And I, I don't even know what happens here. Oh yes, I do know what happens actually. But I'm not going to spoil it. And my, my screen's going dark, my screen's going dark. Because <laughs> that's what happens when you post commentate your um, computer designs just randomly go and hibernate and you freak out like, no, don't stop. And yeah, I'm f absolutely freaking out at this point because I looked at the wrong area, because the next area, Fatal Mode, is one of the rules. And I was thinking this area had Fatal Mode, and even though I'd failed, the rules would still count it. The only reason I was allowed to break the other rules, because the only punishment for breaking the other rules was just failure, and I've already failed, so it wouldn't do anything, it should be another failure on top of the failure. And then, um, so what Fatal Mode would actually kill your Pokémon as well, because the rules would still be in play, if you get what I mean. Um, but even if I failed, because I hadn't completed it yet. But uh, Fatal Mode isn't actually applied for this area, so I was like, thank god, because I, I almost killed myself for that, because I hadn't even realised. Uh, but yeah, I think Peter might just take out my magic too, and he might screw up my whole team. Can't remember that. Yeah, I was actually going to originally switch out to my, um, was it? No, it was my Pig Knight, my uh, Pork Chop, but then I realised I didn't have Pork Chop in my team because I left Pork Chop in the computer because of the solo run to the S area, and yeah, you can tell what's going to happen now. Just a little bit of a bye bye to Magic. Oh, Magic's alive! Magic's alive! That's quite surprising. Because um, even though I've just done this like half an hour ago, I, I, I honestly didn't remember that because it's so clever, it's so damn clever. But yeah, you can probably tell who's gonna win here. I mean, I do spam potions on Masquerade, but um, I think it's safe to say I don't have a chance against the level 12 um, Pedos when I'm only a level 8 Pedos. And I only have Gust as a attacking move. I mean, it has quick attack. Which I think does screw me over in the end. Uh, Pedos actually have a more a higher attack stat. I did actually look over my Pedos. Um, stats while I was grinding and which well I'm going to grinding in the future of this episode but in the past of my commentating I grinded if you got what I mean because I'm post commentating so I recorded all this before. So later on in this episode I'm gonna grind off screen which doesn't make any sense at all but anyway later on in this episode I'm going to grind and then I looked at uh, Pedo's stats and I found out that uh, its nature means it has lowered, spe lo lo lowered special defense and higher special attack, which is the stupidest thing ever, because it still has a much lower special attack than attack. So it's a useless special attacker anyway. So it's got a raised useless stat. And then a lowered special defense, which is probably the worst one to be lowered, because it's got a weakness to um, rock types, it's got a weakness to um, electric types, and it's like, uh, uh, rock types and electric types. And yeah, I I, I pass out here, black tile. So, yeah, I, I'm going to go back to the Pokemon Center. But, um, yeah, there's rock types like set, like, uh, what, do you call, what do you call it? Um, Stone Edge. That's a special attacking move, I think. So, and most electric types are special attacks. So, kind of annoying. And yeah, the reason I was spamming the potions on my masquerade was because I was like, I don't want to go and walk back. I was just being really lazy. I didn't want to walk back to where I was. And even though I've got to spend ages grinding, and that's why I'm a little bit tired. And my commentary is off, so I'm sorry about that. I was hoping to get a bit of a better episode right now, but um, I think here I'm about to say, I'm going to grind up and I'll meet you back to where I, wa where I was. But here, I was like dirt face because um, I was meant to be healing meant to be battling, leveling up my Pokemon, but then I accidentally ran into a trainer because I was speeding up the game and also running uh, side to side like to get the ordinals to shake in the grass and halfway through grinding I run into this trainer again so it's stupid of me but this is sort of like the rematch it's like version 2 I don't know the rematch against a stupid person who knocked me out before it's stupid person uh, and yeah from, from low HP even though 
Uh, I think we do take him out though with a critical hit, which is good because I don't know if it would have killed him otherwise. And I just switch out to my um, to my magic here because I don't want to take any rock type attacks and uh, run low HP anyway. I think um, my magic can do with getting some levels or some points or some something else. So I have leveled up my um, my P dub to level 17 and magic to level 12 at this point. I think I, oh my gosh, I don't even know what team, uh, moves, sorry, I told my team. I think, um, at this point, my p dove had, yeah, it had air slash, did it have air slash? I wasn't even paying attention, oh my gosh, I should have been paying attention, I don't even know. Uh, but it learned, um, quick attack, I know it learned that. And, as you can see here, it, the rock and roll has so much defense, I always think of rock and roll as a ground rock type, because that's generally what they are, but apparently, it's only rock type, which is kind of strange, but it has so much defense, even a um, stab van whip doesn't do that much. Stab super effective van whip. We go up to level 13. Gonna learn furious works here. Uh, I think I had to leave, like growl or something. Or is it growl? Or is it leer? Dang. I think it's growl. It's growl. And um, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the rest of the ep this episode. Because I'm pretty sure I just stop here and I go back to. I got a bit of grinding, and yeah, because as I said, 17 minutes I've stopped, and I'm going to carry on from that afterwards. So what am I doing here? I have no idea. How do I not remember this? Honestly, this is the most stupid thing ever. So I think I'm just saying, yeah, I'm going to be right back once I've grinded up my team, and yeah, I will actually be right back once I've grinded up my team. I'll be back with some live commentary that. Hopefully, won't be using the one microphone. So yeah, I'll grind up my team and tell you all my levels afterwards, and I'll see you at the other side. I'm back. Hopefully, using the one microphone this time. So yeah, as I'm live commentary commentating now. So let's go into Nmasa Nat Green. What's it called? New Nat Green. It's Nat Green City, isn't it? Come with me a sec. It's Nat Green City. Yes, Nat Green City. Don't face I, I can't, can't believe I've got that. Um, if you go straight from here there's a Pokemon Center and you... What? We've already had the introduction to the Pokemon Center. Why? What? We're not that stupid we will forget that... Shut up, Sharon. You have no idea any anything about my channel. Where, where's he gone? What? He just disappeared anyway. Anyway, there's no idea about my uh, Tempo Challenge and that I can't use a Fighting Tempo, I've got to use a uh, P-Dove. So I have like a couple minutes left, so I have a little bit of time to explore and go around to different places. So, I, I, at first I always thought this place was a gym, but um, apparently is isn't. Have I even been here before? I don't think I have, as far as I'm concerned. I'm not sure there's too much to do here, but I know you can do a trade, which is actually quite good, because um, you can get a Pokemon that you can't actually get in your game. Battle Box, I don't think this is too important. Yes, I know. Wonder Watcher, and... So, there's nothing really you can do in this building, I don't think, but... That guy over there looks interesting. Is he one of those people who play along with the background music? Is he playing along with the background music? Oh no he isn't. Oh, I thought it would do. Oh, you suck. But anyway, I'm gonna go to the building where you can do the trade. I'm gonna talk about the trade. I'm not sure if there's too much else you can do here, but as you can see, this is the fancy technique of, well not technique, but you can go upstairs and go into the side of the stop, top stairs, which is quite a good thing I found in this game. It's like, wow, you can actually do that. Oh, here we go. Hi, do you have a Pokemon called Cottony? Would you like to trade your Cottony with Pesky Fitio? Um, Basically, Cottony is the grass type available in black, and, and you can get it in Pimrial Forest. And Petiole is the exclusive grass type to white, which you can also get in Pimrial Forest. And in the game that you can't get the other one in, you can trade the one that you can get for that one, so you can get the other one from the other game, which is, I think is a really good feature to add in the game. Um, I, I want my, uh, sorry, Cottony's Evolution, once he's got, is actually one of my favourite 5th generation Pokemon. Um, so you see, they should be actually playing like accordion and guitar, I think, because they've got all the musicians. Oh, I thought we could go in there, but um, yeah, uh, yeah, I can't even talk. Wincy Scott's um, one of my favourite fifth generation Pokemon. A lot of people don't like it, but I, I don't know, I think it's quite cute. I like it. There's a few that I like, and there's a few that I hate, and just think they're terrible. 
Uh, I'm not going to name because I don't want haters hating on me. But um, yeah, I'm probably going to finish off this episode here. I know I did nothing in this like last three minutes, but at least I'm in um, no, Green City now. And I'm all healed up, and I just remembered I was going to tell you guys... Yeah, I was going to tell you guys what was in my team, but I completely forgot. So basically, Masquerade is now level 20, and has learned Air Cutter, and it also has Roost, which is like amazing because it heals your HP. But the thing is, my next gym battle, I have to use Survival, so I'm not allowed to heal up using items like Pokemon Center. But that does not include moves, so Roost is going to be super helpful for that gym for Survival, because I'm going to have to solo with Masquerade. Magic's now level 17. And has actually learned, oh sorry, has actually learned Leech Seed, which is, I keep doing that, has actually learned Leech Seed, which is amazing, and the other two on my team. I just back to normal, so, I have gone like a minute over again, and uh, I completely forgot to mention my team's off. <laughs> sorry about that, even though I just told you like a couple seconds ago before I got in this that I was going to sign my team. I'm just being the absolute derp today, so um, it's not been a good day, but... Let's hope this episode went okay and it wasn't too bad with the post-commentary, so I want to say thank you for watching and I'll see you next time when I take on the gym!